In this video we're going to take a look at how to get set up with Git for Windows, get it working with Java, and set up a public key so that we can do public key authentication with GitHub. So the first thing I'll do is go into my browser, and we're going to go and search for Git for Windows. So this is available at msysgit.github.io, I'll choose that, click on Downloads, and I'm going to choose the Featured Beta. Okay, so we'll just download that. Okay, now that that's downloaded, we will run it. And I'm just going to choose to add git bash here to my context menu. So that means that when you right click on something like a, a folder in Explorer, it'll offer you the ability to open up git, git bash in that directory. So everything else looks good. We'll click next, next again. I'm going to say use git bash only. And we're going to check out Windows style and commit Unix style. Okay, so we'll just uncheck that, click finish, and it is installed. Now the next thing, let's go into git bash. So we'll grab it from all programs, git, git bash. I'm just going to take that and drag it down to my taskbar here. Now you'll notice that Java is not found, even though I have Java installed on the system, nor is Java C. The reason is that git bash is pulling from your path environment variable uh, on your Windows system, so we have to set that up properly. So I'm going to go into the control panel and go into system, advanced system settings, and then environment variables. Now under system variables, you should have a path variable. What we need to do, I'm going to just leave that window open for a minute, go into Explorer, and I want you to find Java on your system. You want to find the JDK. So uh, I have it located in C colon program files Java, and it's the JDK 17051. Do not choose the JRE, you want the JDK. So I go into this folder, I go into the bin directory, and you'll see there's java.exe, there's java.c.exe, and so on. So this is the path that I want to add to my path environment variable. So I'll click up in here, I'll grab this entire path, just cut it, and then we'll click on edit, go to the end of this path. Now add a semicolon, not a colon, it has to be a semicolon, and then paste in that path there. We'll click OK, OK again, once more, and now if we close git bash and reopen it, should be able to run Java just fine, Java C runs just fine. Perfect. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get set up with a public-private key pair and we can upload our public key to GitHub so that we can authenticate to GitHub without typing in a password. So I'm going to type in SSH keygen dash T DSA and I'm just going to accept all the defaults. Just press enter for everything and now I should be able to go into tilde slash dot SSH and there I have IDDSA and IDDSA.pub. So IDDSA is my private key, that's the one I want to keep secret, and IDDSA.pub is my public key, and that's the one that I have to upload to GitHub. So what I'm going to do is open up my browser, and I'll log in to my GitHub account. And now that I'm logged in, I'm just going to go up to Account Settings, and go to SSH Keys, click on Add SSH Key, and I'll just say something here like git bash. Now in this key field here, that's where I need to paste my public key. So I'm going to grab everything in IDDSA.pub, everything from this SSHDS. Now to copy in here, I have to click up in here, click edit, and click on mark. So everything from SSHDS all the way down to the end of the file. And I'll just right click up in here, click edit, and then copy and now I paste that in here so again everything from SSHDS all the way down to whatever my username is at whatever my host name is of my computer I'll click on add key and there we go now the key is showing up there and I get an email from github just saying that a new public key was added so if I go back now into git bash I should now be able to authenticate with github without typing a password and the way we can test that is you can type in ssh-vt git at github.com and we'll just say yes when it says the, authentic the authenticity of the host github can't be established that's fine that's normal 
and we should see here, hi JSUWO, you're successfully authenticated. That means that I successfully, it, it recognized the fact from my public-private key pair that my username is JSUWO and, and it successfully logged me in. So now I should be able to work with my GitHub repositories without having to ever type my GitHub password. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. Have fun.